I'm hosting a new Sora Rivals tournament that will be the biggest I've ever hosted. I've learned a lot from the last tournament I hosted and this will just be incredible. A new format, a new games and also a, a new prize pool. And you probably saw the title, a 100% Sora Rivals tournament, it's called. And it's because every single participant will win cards. But before we go any further, I just want to let you know that I'm currently having a test event for this tournament in specific where I will be giving away three different cards to three different managers. It is going to be a Sora Rivals game link over on Twitter between Manchester City and Chelsea. And the only thing you need to do is to subscribe and like this video and comment your Sora username. And yeah, in terms of the tournament, one of the major changes I wanted to add in was the membership. Now you need to be a member to participate in this tournament and also member only tournaments that I will be hosting regularly in the future. And one of the reasons for this is because I can have way way more bigger tournaments because I'm not sponsored by Sora. So, um, and also to top that off, every uh, single a penny that goes uh, to me in terms of level 1 membership, which, which is called Tournament Warriors, will uh, be given back to you guys in terms of Sora tournaments, competitions and etc. So therefore I've made two different levels. Uh, yeah, the first one is of course Tournament Warriors, £3 a month. And the other one is Legends of the Community, which is £5 a month. And the only difference in terms of tournaments is that in this tournament in specific there will be a double prize pool uh, in the Legend of the Community membership. So yeah, in the first month it will be worth it to go for Legend of the Community anyway because uh, you get a double prize pool. But now I think we're ready to move on to go into the tournament in itself, go through everything you need to know. And yeah, first of all we can start with the prize pool, then the fixtures then uh, when it is and how to join. And as you probably know, every manager in this competition will win a Sora card, uh, including limited and rares. So in this tournament it will be no custom series cards. So this will get very very expensive for me and that is also one of the reasons I added the membership to join. And the cards will of course be better and better uh, determined by how good you finish. Although the top prices aren't as good because of every single participant winning, um, I think still they will be worth it to go all in on this competition in terms of research and of course 100% focus and remember the deadlines and everything. Um, and that is because uh, like uh, the card gets of course as I mentioned gradually better and better and better. So one place could actually mean a big step up in terms of the cards you will get. And yeah in terms of the full price pool this is just an announcement video. And I don't know how many that wants to participate yet. I have an indication. So uh, the price pool won't be finalized until the first game kickoffs. But the main thing you need to know is uh, either if you come on first or last place you will still win a Sora card, that is guaranteed. And now let's move on to the format. I will try a brand new format where we will count the whole entire score from each game week and uh, the manager with the highest all around score will win the competition and that is also how the table or the leaderboard will be determined uh, by the highest overall score. So each week score have a lot to say about how good you will finish at the end. And keep in mind I will count the scores one hour after the deadline. So if Opta changes the score for example 24 hours after, that uh, I won't take that into consideration because I want the table or the leaderboard to be out the day after, after so you guys can see. And also I feel like Opta it's such random when a player goes up and down and I feel like in 80% of the cases uh, the players are opted down, so uh, when I do it on the same time, it will be fair anyway. And now let's move on to the fixtures in this Sora Rivals tournament. Um, and yeah, the tournament starts on Tuesday the 20th and ends Friday, March the 1st. Um, and it will be seven games throughout that period. Um, here is an overview of every single game starting off in game week one which will be the 20th of february inter versus atletico madrid in the champions league that will be an incredible game and like probably the perfect game to kick it off because i think that game will be so even 
And the next one is Game Week 2, 21st of February, Napoli versus Barcelona. Like, these games are just incredible and it will be so exciting to watch. Another Champions League game. So now, on the Thursday, there won't be a break yet. We will still have Game Week 3, which will be uh, 22nd of February, uh, Roma versus Feyenoord. And this is also a game in the Europa League, which also be uh, very, very exciting to watch. Uh, and on the Friday, 23rd of February, there will be a rest day. So here there won't be any uh, matches. And then we have game week four the day after. On a Saturday, the 24th of February, we will have Arsenal versus Newcastle. And here, of course, Arsenal are favourites, but Newcastle is a very good team, so this also could be a very, very interesting matchup. And the next one, the day after, the Sunday, uh, game week 5, 25th of February, it's going to be Real Madrid versus Sevilla. And we saw recently Sevilla beating Atletico Madrid, so this also could be a wild card going for Sevilla here if you aren't performing too well so far. So this is a little bit of a pent one, you could go uh, for uh, the dark horses in Sevilla here. And then we have a back-to-back -back rest days, uh, the 26th of February and also the 27th of February. And game week 6 will be 28th of February, which will be Inter versus Atalanta. We have two Inter games this uh, tournament. Uh, and also, uh, this will be a very, very interesting matchup, in my opinion. Um, like, this could go both ways. We know that Inter are very dominant, leading uh, currently, but still, they have Champions League in the midweek. It could be very, very hard to put out 11 uh, back to back or they also had a, wee, a game week uh, the week before there, so it will be three game weeks in one week for Inter. So they may go a little bit less strong against Atalanta, so Atalanta could be a very good dark horse, and I think this match will be very even as well. The day after, the 29th of uh, February, uh, Thursday, there will be another rest day, and then we will end it off with Lazio versus Milan, which will be on the 1st of March. and. Um, yeah, this will be incredible, one of the biggest match uh, in Syria. A. Um, this is a game that can go both ways and a game that I really, really want to end it off with. And also, just to keep in mind, the scarcity bonus will of course be removed, so just don't worry about that. Of course, if you have rare players or limited players from one of these teams, just put them in there if you want to, but I will remove it manually after. So, uh, yeah, and then we can go to how to join. Uh, I will be uploading a game link two days before the game kicks off. Uh, and I will put the link on the member section on YouTube. So, so the only thing you need to do is to become a member and have access to the member community on YouTube. Which you will of course have when you become a member. There you will see every single post I've uploaded. And uh, yeah, so that is how to join. Very, very simple. And uh, yeah, to end this video off with, do you have any questions? Please leave it in the comments. And my name has been Osalde, and I will of course see you next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.